What's up YouTube, I'm Choctopus, and uh, I like to do these videos every now and then where I kind of just turn on the camera and I start talking, and something was brought to my attention the other day in regards to a leak, and we're going to use that term very loosely, um, because, you know, it's we, we don't know for sure yet how accurate it is. So basically, on GameFAQs, which is an archaic website that I have not used in years, Someone posted on GameFAQs the other day that on May 7th, Nintendo was going to release details about their online service. Lo and behold, May 7th rolls around and we have new details um, about their, their online service, mainly highlighting uh, Nintendo ditching Virtual Console, replacing it with Nintendo Classics, and let's see, is there anything on cloud saves here? But basically, Nintendo came out and they introduced some more details about their uh, their online service program that's going live later this year. And this, you know, there's a huge list of, of leaks here in regards to things that are happening at E3. Some of them are really outlandish and, you know, I it'd be awesome if they were true. But the one that I wanted to talk about was Pokemon for Switch and how Pokemon for Switch was going to be revealed at E3 and not just really be, um, not just be an announcement, but actually have a trailer. And the verbatim leak here coming from Lazzy Man, and uh, shout out to Lazzy Man if these are true, if they are your hero. So, Pokemon for Switch is revealed. It's a new take on Red and Blue and features graphics that are midway between Sun, Moon, and Pokin, as in Pokemon Tournament. So that'd be kind of cool because uh, the the graphics in Pokemon Tournament are, you know, they're, they're a nice 3D, especially for Pokemon. But I think the big thing that strikes me here is the new take on Red and Blue. Now, I know that probably is going to upset most people because uh, we're still, at least some of us are still waiting for Diamond and Pearl remakes. You know, true Gen 4 remakes and I think we'll eventually get those, but right now, um, I think if this is true, and take this with a grain of salt, because like I said, we don't know if this is true. This could be absolute BS, but we're gonna talk as if it is true, and if it is, I do think that the Pokemon Company and Nintendo are trying to make Red and Blue more accessible for a younger audience, because think about it, every, possible generation right now is playable on a on current hardware whether it's the 3ds or the switch well it's mainly just the 3ds you know it's not nothing's playable on the switch yet but and that's that's uh subtracting any virtual console or eShop downloads you know for like red and blue or for you know gold and silver or crystal this is talking strictly cartridge based that you can you can buy on a cartridge and play because right now we have Heart Gold and Soul Silver. We have Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Um, what else do we have? We have Diamond and Pearl. You have X and Y. You have Black and White, Black and White Two, and Sun and Moon. The list goes on and on and on. But we don't have a cartridge-based remake of Red and Blue. I mean, there was. Uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green. However, those are Game Boy Advance games, and like I said, they can't be played unless you have a an old DS. But I think Nintendo is trying to come full circle here. I feel like that would be an easy cash grab for them, because you know the lore and the story and everything about Red and Blue is already there. I mean, so is Diamond and Pearl, but uh, I don't know. Everything's already there. They kind of just need to put it into a 3D or 2.5D environment, whatever it's going to be. Um, and that would also enable, you know, if we do get cloud saves, or actually, if we do, we are getting cloud saves. If that introduces the Pokemon Bank to um, the Switch, then it's going to bring everything full circle. You know, you could upload all of your Pokemon from your 3DS to the Pokemon Bank, pull them into your Switch. So I think they're. Like I said, they're trying to come full circle there. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below, you know, what you think about a potential red and blue 
remake. I'm going to call it a remake. You know, if it's a reimagining, it's if they're going 3D, it's going to be a remake because uh, we know a couple things that have been said from Nintendo about the new Pokemon game. It's either coming in 2018, late, or 2019. Um, it depends on if they want to make a lot of money this year. Um, we know that it's going to be a main line story and it's going to kind of be similar format to previous games. It's not going to be an open world, this giant open world Pokemon game that the world has been waiting for. I think we'll eventually get that. Um, but I think for the sake of timing, I think Nintendo is trying to release a main Pokemon title within a reasonable time frame on the Nintendo Switch because they're they're trying to get you know all of their their AAA games out there. You know they have Smash coming out this year. They they had a Mario game. They had a Zelda game. So they're trying to you know they're trying to hit everyone with all their big titles and they're trying to get. I mean, ten million over ten million Switches sold. You know it's pretty crazy. And just think about what the attach rate would be for Pokemon. You know, so I think it wouldn't take a lot of resources for them to, or at least I personally don't think it would take a lot of resources to take red and blue and do a 3D reimagining. So it seems pretty viable. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of other things on this list and I'll leave, I'll, I'll probably add this if I haven't already. Um, I'll probably list out or I'll put this picture of these leaks in the, um, in the video this way you could kind of see them i'll lay them over my beautiful face <laughs> but personally i'm i'm a gen oneer as you know some pokemon fans like to call it i'm a ride or die gen one fan i grew up with pokemon you know from the start i remember my grandmother taking me to pick up pokemon red on release day i didn't even know anything about the game um one day she's like, oh, we're going to go to the uh, our local game shop after school. I'm like, oh, cool. She's like, I, I pre-ordered something for you. And, you know, we got to the store and there was one copy of red, one copy of blue, and I, I got to pick. So I picked red. You know, I'm a, I'm a team red. So I hope that it's going to be a... I hope they're simultaneously working on other things as well. But I do hope it is a red-blue reimagining because... I've come to find in all the years that I've loved Pokemon, you know, especially all these these younger gamers that are getting into it, you know, maybe they're starting with Sun and Moon, or maybe they started with X and Y. Um, they really haven't played through Red and Blue. So I do think Nintendo would want to throw that out there because think about it. You're going to capture the older people like myself, um, not that old, but the older people fans like myself who are going to pick up a red and blue retelling for nostalgia you're going to capture the younger audience because hey it's a pokemon game it's a new pokemon game that you have to play on the switch everyone's going to be playing it and then you have the people who is there even a third category but i feel like it's those two categories and then you might get the the stragglers who maybe have never played a Pokemon game, but hey, I have a brand new Nintendo Switch, so let me try this Pokemon game because everyone says it's supposed to be a remake of the first one. It might be a good time for them to jump in, um, but that's really all my thoughts for this. I do think maybe there should be some twists. I think if they really wanted to fan service us, they should do red and green and not fire red and leaf green, like, you know, straight up red and green. And I think that'd be pretty rad. But let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Um, like I said, this has not been confirmed. This is like, I don't even know that if this is a credible source, but it seems to be, you know, with all the details that are being given. I mean, it could just be some fan fiction. Um, but it started out with them releasing information about Nintendo's online service, and it did come true. So a lot of people are believing this. And personally, I don't know. We'll see. Not going to get my hopes up, even though I stopped to take time in my busy day to make a video about it. Not going to get my hopes up, but I do hope that that's the route they're going, um, especially if they're working on simultaneous titles at the same time. But 
Like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You know, do you want to see a retelling of Red and Blue, maybe in a modern Pokemon fashion, similar to what's going on with X and Y, similar graphics, maybe a little bit better graphics. I think that'd also be pretty cool. Um, but that's all we got for this video. If you liked it, smash that thumbs up button. You know, feedback is always welcome. If there's anything you want to see or you don't want to see or, you know, want to see more of, uh, the comment section is the best place to do that. You can follow me on social media. I'm pretty active on Twitter and Instagram. Um, also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you do like Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue, um, as I, I haven't streamed in the past week, but I have been streaming Pokemon Red, and that's been pretty fun. So you can find me on Twitch. I'll also leave that link in the description below. Check me out on all the channels, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. I'm Choctopus signing out. Peace.